and welcome back to my youtube channel i am rapiana and today i have this really pretty kinky curly wig unit sent from the doula hair she's a pre everything wig unit and she's definitely a wear and go so if you guys are into 100 percent glueless wig units this one might be for you so let's just go ahead and jump right into this hair unboxing so just to let you guys know nadula hair is definitely going through a rebrand at the moment so they will officially be launching july 15th i believe so they're updating their website and they're also updating their packaging as well now i'm not sure if i have the new or the old packaging you guys um i think that this may be the old one the only thing that i really see new in here is the brush um but again at the same time i haven't really reviewed for nadula hair this year i think this is like my first or second time reviewing for them in 2024 so i'm not sure what they have been sending out as of recently but again they are going to be doing a rebrand so in this packaging i just received a brush a satin robe an hd wig cap some nails and you know the elastic baby hair wraps and things of that such now again this brush was something new that i haven't received or seen in any of my packaging so yeah just to keep that in mind i was actually i actually thought it was a really good touch considering the fact that i have a kinky curly wig unit now i didn't use it for my hair video today because you guys know that i have a specific brush that i love using but i thought that it was actually a really nice touch so for this wig unit, again, this is a wear go wig. So this wig is done for you. You guys, it also comes with the additional adjustable strap and the adhesive tapes are already in. She also comes pre-cut and pre-bleached. So I did go ahead and curl to find my hair, of course, off of camera. And I let her air dry on this mannequin head. And that's pretty much it. I did go in with my foundation and, you know, tint my lace. Now I'm sitting here like pulling the hair just trying to like see what the texture is like and I don't know if you guys could tell but this hair is actually two different textures. The frontal and the actual bundles are two different textures. Um, the frontal is definitely a little bit more of on the looser side you guys so I just want to make sure that I point that out for you guys. However I do think that it definitely came all together at the end. But I don't want you guys to be alarmed if you do decide to get this wig unit. So they came, this wig unit came with a bunch of adhesive tapes. This is actually my first time seeing it in a brown tone. You guys know they usually come like blue. But yeah, um, they also placed these adhesive tapes really, really, really close to the edge of the lace frontal. So I absolutely love that. Um, and you guys know to like, take away from that shininess from the adhesive tape because it's definitely going to show through you guys just need to use like a powder or like a foundation um to cover that up but i do think that it has a very nice density at the hairline um so if you guys are not into like really extremely plucked wig units this one might be for you this one also didn't come with like the pre-cut baby hairs and stuff like that and I actually like it, you guys, because I don't think that it looks bad. Also, I'd rather do my own baby hairs, to be completely honest, than the ones that are, like, pretty much given to me with, like, these wig units. So, I'm just taking my foundation and tinting my lace with the contour shade, which is, like, the darker shade in this palette here. Um, if you guys are looking for any of the products, you guys could definitely look at my Amazon storefront. That's where I put all of the hot tools and hair products that I've been using over the course of the years. And yeah, it's also pinned in my Amazon storefront as well. But as you guys could see, it blends really, really easy with that contour shade. And yeah, so for my girls who do not like over plucked wig units and you know, you don't like to see like a lot of lace and stuff like that <laughs> and you're not really into baby hairs, you guys should definitely try this one out because, you know, it has actually a very nice hairline in my opinion. Um, so yeah, other than that, I do want to let you guys know also with the bleaching of this lace frontal it's a really good bleaching job but they didn't really bring the bleach up to the hairline which i don't know why and if you go back to when i was doing the unboxing you will actually see that they didn't bring the bleach all the way up to the hairline so 
just pointing that out as well so i'm just going to be cutting some sideburns i didn't really like mold my sideburns down but just to make it look a little bit more natural i just cut the sideburns just a little bit and i am just using my foundation to open up my parting a little bit more and i did rub it in a little bit you guys so it wasn't just sitting there but because the hair texture was like two different textures you guys i found that the front pieces were longer than the back so i ended up doing some shaping to this hair and i think moving forward with my curly wig units that i review i'm going to like try to do a little bit more cutting to them um you know so that they can look a little bit more of my vibe <laughs> so i just feel like with the kinky curly textures they can kind of look like a poofy mess but i'm not really mad at this one this one just needed some shape so i took my very tiny scissors and just started like trimming away at it but i'm always trimming at an angle as you guys could see um again i am not a hair professional i did not go to hair school i don't know what i'm doing my degree is definitely not in <laughs> cosmetology <laughs> cosmetology you guys i don't know what i'm doing i just know how to make my hair look good on me and that's just what i work with you know i just work with my face shape and what i what i think will look good on me so always start low and just trim you know don't go doing blunt cuts and you don't know what you're doing start low you know and then you can like go from there but i just did very light trimming you guys i did not do anything serious but i do feel like the little trimming that i did do made a huge difference with my install and i feel like it looks like it has more life to it with the cut so let me know what you guys think with that um again don't judge me on the cutting okay i'm trying to like look in this mirror that's far but not that far and i don't want to be out of focus for my hair video and yeah <laughs> so anyways you guys for this wig unit i would have to give it um i would say like a nine out of ten i just feel like there's just two different textures so that's the only reason why i didn't give it a 10 out of 10 but overall the hair looks good with the trim you guys so if you do get this wig unit and you want a little bit of more of like va va voom to it a little bit more life just give it a little trim and it will actually make a really huge difference just by doing a really really small trim okay so yeah but that's pretty much all that i have for you guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye